Hello grade 9 students, let us uh, uh, proceed to the next, another version of our lesson on laws of exponents. So exponential notation, a product of identical numbers usually written in exponential notation. For example, 5 times 5 times 5 is written as 5 cubed. So in general, we have the following definition. If a is any real number and n is a positive integer, then the nth power of a is a to the a raised to n is equal to a times a times a times a n factors. So the number a is called the base, and n is called the exponent. Okay. We have here for the exponential notation examples that are a one half raised to the fifth power means we're going to multiply one half by itself five times. One half times one half. One half times one half times one half times one half times one half is one over thirty-two. Negative three to the fourth power means we're going to multiply negative three by itself four times. Negative three times negative three, negative three, negative three is eighty-one positive. But negative three raised to the fourth power means negative three times three times three times three negative eighty-one. Okay, so. Quantity negative 3 raised to 4 is different from negative 3 to the fourth power, right? Excuse me, naka na siya eh. bracket siya. So that means you're going to multiply negative 3 by itself 4 times. But dito, uh, in the beginning, talagang negative na siya. We can state several useful rules for working with exponential notation. Rule for multiplication. To discover the rule for multiplication, we'll multiply 5 to the fourth by 5 squared. 5 to the fourth means uh, we have 5 factors, uh, 4 factors of 5. 5 squared means 2 factors of 5. If we're going to combine, it will be equal to five, uh, 6 factors of 5. And 6 factors of 5 means 5 raised to 6. So that means we added 4 and 2 factors. 4 plus 2 is 5 raised to the 6th power. So it appears that to multiply two powers of the same base, we just add their exponents. 5 to 4 times 5 squared is 4 plus 2, 5 to the 6th power. We just added the exponent, keep the base and add the exponents. So in general, for any real number a and any positive integers m and n, we have here a raised to m times a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n. We would like this rule to be true even when m and n are 0 or negative integers. For instance, we must have 2 raised to 0 times 2 cubed, which is equal to 2 raised to 0 plus 3 at 0 and 3. Still, 2 cubed answer. However, this can happen if on, only if 2 raised to 0 equals 1. Okay, um, there is a rule that uh, any number raised to 0 is equal to 1. So likewise, we want to have 5 4, 5 to the 4th power times 5 raised to negative 4, okay, the same base, add the exponents, so 5 raised to 4 plus negative 4, that means 0, 5 raised to 0 is 1. This will be true if 5 raised to negative 4 is equal to 1 over 5 to the 4th power, right? So, yan yung tinatawag natin negative exponents rule, ito naman yung 0 exponents rule, any number raised to 0 is 1, and if we raise a number to negative number, it will become a fraction, over the, the numerator is 1 and over 5 to the 4th power where in the original exponent negative 4 will become positive 4 in the denominator. So if a is not equal to 0 is any real number n, n is a positive integer then a raised to 0 equals 1 and a raised to negative n is equal to 1 over a raised to n. So okay, 0 negative exponents, let us answer number letter a. 4 over 7 raised to 0, still is equal to 1. Any number raised to 0 is equal to 1. X raised to negative 1 is, that means 1 over X raised to 1, or simply 1 over X. Because a number or a variable with exponent 1 means it's just the number or variable itself. How about this? One, uh, negative 2 raised to negative 3. Okay, since the exponent is negative 3, this will become a fraction 1 over negative Quantity negative 2 cubed. Negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 is still negative 8. So the answer is negative 1 over 8. Okay. Rules for working with exponents. So 
Uh, dito na yung mga different rows of exponents. To multiply two powers of the same number, add exponents. Alright? You know that. Example, 3 squared times 2 to the fifth power, 3 to the seventh power. Now, to divide two, to divide two powers of the same number, subtract exponents. Example, 3 to, 3 to the fifth over 3 to the sixth square. Okay, subtract 5 minus 2, 3 cubed. Next, to raise the power to a new power, multiply the exponents. Example, 3 squared to the pip is you multiply the exponent, 2 times 5, so 10. 3 raised to the 10th power. And to raise a product to a power, raise each factor to the power. 3 times 4 squared means 3 squared times 4 squared. So, uh, that's equivalent to 9 times 16. And to raise the quotient to a power, raise both the numerator and the denominator to the power. Example, 3 fourths squared means 3 squared over 4 squared, or 9 over 16. Low 3, if m and n are positive integers, we have, right? So the cases for which m is less than or equal to 0 and or n less than or equal to 0 can be proved using the definition of negative exponents. Yeah. So if you raise a power to another power, that means you just multiply the exponents. a raised to mn. If n is a positive integer, we have, okay. A, B raised to N means we just uh, distribute the exponents to A and B. So it, it's equal to A raised to N, B raised to N. So let us hear, hear now some examples. X to the 4 times X to the 7. So you add the exponents. 4 plus, 11, 4 plus 7 is 11. So the answer is X to the 11th power. Still. Uh, okay. Same base, you just add the exponents for letter B. 4 plus negative 7 is 4 minus 7, negative 3. Then applying the negative uh, integer exponent, y raised to negative 3 means y over 1 over y cubed. Okay, so then, pupunta ito sa denominator, then yung negative 3 exponent will become positive exponent. In letter C, same base, you subtract the exponents if we are dividing. Yes. 9 minus 5 is 4, so it's C to the fourth power. Letter D, we raise a power to another power, just uh, multiply the exponents, so 4 times 5 is 20, B to the 28th power. 3x, quantity 3x cubed means we distribute 3 to this product, 3nx, so it means 3 cubed x cubed, or 27x cubed. And then, for low 5, if we raise a quotient to a power, x over 2 raised to the fifth power, that means... We distribute the exponent 5 to x, both of x and 2. So it goes to x to the pip over 2 to the pip power, or simply x to the pip over 32. Okay, let's have exercises here. Simplify letter A. What's your answer? First, you cube 3ab to the fourth, then you multiply it to 2a cube b squared. Okay, 3 cube is 27 times 254. Then add 3 and 3, 6. 7, 8 to the 6, B to the 14. Diba? Yeah, 54, 8 to the 6, B to the 14. Right? Yeah, cube, 3 A, B to the 4th first. That means you distribute exponents 3 here, 3 cube, A cube, B to the 4th cube. Then simplify, 27, A cube, B to the 12th. Multiply it to 2a cube b squared. First, we multiply 2 times 27, 54. Then, for a, you add exponents 3 and 3, 6. For b, add exponents 2 and 12, 14. And here, x over y cube times y squared x over z to the fourth power. First, we cube x over y. That means x cube over y cube. Then, raise y squared, or y, y squared x over z to the fourth power. That means y to the 8, x to the 4th, over z to the 4th. Then, for y, we just subtract the exponents. Okay, by 8 minus 3 is 5, so y to the 5th power. For x, we add exponents, x to the 7th power, over z to the 4th power. So, when simplifying an expression, you will find that many different methods will lead to the same result. You should feel free to use any of the rules of exponents to arrive at your own method. So, we now give two additional loads that are useful in simplifying expressions with negative exponents. If we have here a over b raised to negative n, okay, we can just get the reciprocal of a and b. 
So it becomes B over A and then the negative exponents will become positive exponents. Example, 3 fourths raised to negative 2, that means get the reciprocal of 3 fourths, 4 thirds squared na. Positive done. Then the answer will be 16 over 9. And another, A raised to negative N over B raised to negative M. You can now interchange again the position of the two powers with negative exponents. So it's equal to B raised to M over A raised to N. So same is true with example, 3, 3 raised to negative 2 over 4 raised to negative 5. That means 4 to the pip over 3 squared. Yeah, interchange lang. Alright. Okay, A raised to negative N over B raised to negative BM. I mean, A raised to negative N over B raised to negative M is equal to B raised to M over A raised to N. Okay. Eliminate negative exponents and simplify each, each expression. So, for A. Alright, for A, we have here. So... S raised to negative 2 in the denominator will, will go to the numerator with positive exponent S squared. Na. Also, with T raised to negative 4 will go to the denominator with positive exponent to the board. Then you can now add exponents for S, 3. Exponents for T is add 2 plus 4, 6. Then divide 6 by 2, 3. The answer is 3S cubed over T to the 6th power. How about this? y over 3z cubed raised to negative 2. So, we can interchange this. Get the reciprocal. 3z cubed over y. Then, the, the, the exponent negative 2 here will become positive. Then, you can now simplify. 3 squared, say to the 6. Or 9, say to the 6 over y squared. It's the answer. Okay, that's our, that ends our lesson on the different laws of exponents. Specifically the zero and negative exponents. Goodbye class. See you, late. See you again next time.